Hello there, my name is Kai Hendry, and I just wanted to give you an update about what we've been up to in November 2016. So first, can I just say thanks to uh, Taylor Swift, Swift on Security for bigging up uh, Web Converger. And um, yeah, the, the, the feature that I'm, I'm working on is a security feature. It's called repro reproducible builds. So the idea with reproducible builds is that the rootfs from which um, web converger is generated from uh, this this one here it has a particular hash at the very top so the tip being today at cb9a blah 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 and we can reproducibly build an iso with uh, uh, reproducibly build with a static checksum basically the same the same resulting ISO package which you use to deploy Web Converger has a stable checksum which maps back to the the change in the rootfs. That's a security feature because all all other products actually um, can't verify that that change maps to the delivered product, and I'm hoping to to do that. In all honesty, um, I I was uh, prompted to do this by uh, Mozilla awarding seventy seven thousand US dollars to uh, the Tails project, which is I think a distribution used for yeah. It's supposed to be yeah. It's a it's a live operating system preserving your privacy and anonymity. Okay, I've, I haven't used Tails for a while, but I guess Web Converger is doing the same thing um, but Tails is annoyingly uh, funded and um, but I, I like to think uh, we can do the same I mean we're funded too with our customers we don't rely on donations so um, actually I made a tweet back in July sort of saying that we do have reproducible builds we've managed it but the devil is in the details, as per usual. We can make a reproducible build when it's the same environment, but if we tear down the environment and set one up again, we are struggling to get the same build. Um, I've set up a new site called build.webconverger.com, and you can see here that all the, uh, the resulting checksums, I've named the file after their hash, their checksum hash, show on some. And you, as you can see, they're all different. That's not good. <laughs> um, hopefully, we're going to address this. Um, I'm using Travis. I've done some work today to integrate our build process with Travis. Um, this first um, hash here is to do with the Debian Live ISO builder. And the second hash is to do with the uh, the hash on the root. So, for example, E13, that should correspond to that one, E13. And 97BD, that corresponds to the image um, uploaded to Docker. Unfortunately, there isn't a good way of telling on the Docker website what the, um, the sharp uh, summers but you can download it and then check um, like for example if I click this Travis CI I go to the build and then it will you can see from the the, the build log what 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 would the um, the checksum was uh, okay I, I pulled it down here and then I used it later um, sorry. Yeah, well, I use the. You can see it here. You, or you can run this command yourself. All right. So um, yeah, have a look at the Travis files. So so Debian Live config it becomes the ISO builder, and it gets pushed to the Docker Hub here. That builds the ISO. That's like the build root and this is what it builds the uh, work converger web c rootfs 
So I hope that's a good explanation of where we are at right now. Um, I think we're pretty close. I'm working with um, a good engineer, great engineer, uh, Chris Lam. Um, and, well, Wikiverger is, is, is sponsoring him to do the work. And hopefully we'll get there. I feel we're quite close. I feel we're quite close. And then, yeah, that will just add another, uh, what do you call it? Clink in the, um, the security of Web Converger. Anyway, I, I hope you appreciate um, these um, little um, efforts. And um, I hope we, I, I was aiming to only do a release once this is done. Um, I think I'll, I'll try to stick to that. See you guys. Thank you for watching.